With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that in the adjoining figure, P is parallel to Q. Find the unknown angles. So there is a figure which is given in the question where P is parallel to Q and there are unknown angles. Angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, angle E, angle F. These unknown angles, we have to find out the value of these unknown angles. Where we are given one of the angles, that is this angle, is 125 degree. Now we, we can observe that this angle, that is angle T, V, Q and angle F are forming a linear pair. Therefore, their sum will be equal to 180 degree. So we will have 125 degree plus F is equals to 180 degree. Now this this uh, 125 degree is plus here. So when it will go to the right hand side of the equation, it will get converted into a minus. So we will have 180 degree minus 125 degree, which will give us 55 degree. So the answer or the measure of uh, angle F is 55 degree. Now angle F and angle E are forming a pair of vertically opposite angles because this line and this line is intersecting at V. So angle E and F are vertically opposite angles and we know that vertically opposite angles are equal. So we can write that angle E will be equal to will be equal to E will be equal to F because vertically opposite angles are equal. So E will also be 55 degree. So we will have the value of E 55 degree. Now let's find the values of other angles. So we have P parallel Q. So and T U is a transversal. So P is parallel to Q and T U is a transversal. Therefore angle F and angle A will be alternate interior angle. And we know that alternate interior angles are equal. So Alternate interior angles are equal when the two lines are parallel and there is a transversal passing by. So we will have angle A is equal to angle F, alternate interior angles. So angle A will also be equal to 55 degree. Now we have angle A is equal to 55 degree. So it can be observed that angle A and angle C, angle A and angle C are forming a pair of vertically opposite angles. So we can say that angle C measure of C will be equal to A because vertically opposite angles are equal. So we will have C is equals to 55 degree. So we will have C is equals to 55 degree. Now we have angle angle D and angle B. Now angle B plus angle A are forming a linear pair. So the sum of angle A or and B will be 180 degree. So we will have A plus B is equals to 180 degree because A and B are forming a linear pair. So putting the value of A that, that we have just found out to be 55 degree, we will get B is equals to 180 degree. This plus will go to the right hand side of the equation and will get converted into a minus. So we will have 180 minus 55 degree that is equal to 125 degree. So the measure of B is 125 degree. Now we have B, we have C, we have A we have E and we have F. Now the only angle that is remaining is D. Now it can be observed as it has been said in the question that P and P and Q are parallel lines and T is, and TU is a transversal. So angle D will be equal to this angle because they are corresponding angles and we know that corresponding angles on same side of transversal are equal. So angle D will be equal to 180 de uh, 125 degree. D will be equal to 125 degree. One more thing could have been observed and it is that angle D and angle B, angle D and angle B are forming a, are vertically opposite angles because this is the line which is intersecting and these are the angles that are getting formed. So, but, and we know that vertically opposite angles are equal. So we could have also said that angle D is equal to angle B and we know that angle B is 125. Therefore, angle D should also be 125 degree. So all the angles have been found A, B, C, D, E and F. That's all. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.